Hello dear friends, this is Hello Hollywood, that means you're in for some exciting news. Let's get started. Pippa Middleton is no royal, but the 40 year old is no stranger to headlines and tabloids. She has shown time and again in the past that she knows how to make a spectacular entrance and arguably outdid her sister Kate Middleton during the royal wedding. Nevertheless, Pippa has had an impressive career. Although she is not royalty and doesn't have to worry about the royal duties that come with it, she is no stranger to being in the spotlight. In 2012 she authored Celebrate, a year of British holidays for family and friends, an event planning book. Although the book was not a huge success, as the publishing company cancelled it and plans for a second book, she still showed ambition. I certainly have opportunities that many can only dream of. But for the most part I'm just an ordinary girl in her 20s trying to make a career and present herself in circumstances that can sometimes seem quite bizarre, she wrote in an excerpt from the book. Pippa burst onto the scene with her dress at Kate's royal wedding as the Alexander McQueen outfit immediately went viral. Nicknamed the royal beauty, she stole the show when all eyes should have been on Kate and Prince William. As I learned, confession has its pros, cons and you could say downside she said. It was completely unexpected. I think the plan was for it not to be a significant dress, it was just supposed to blend in with the train. I suppose it's flattering, it's disconcerting, definitely, it wasn't planned. While Pippa is no royalty, she also found love by marrying billionaire James Matthew. He runs his hedge fund, Eden Rock Capital Management Group, which he founded more than two decades ago and is now valued at two billion dollars. Pippa doesn't race on four wheels, but isn't afraid to swap her heels for trainers competing in several marathons and triathlons. Running helps me to clear my head when I'm feeling confused, find a safe place before making an important decision and feel free when life's pressures are weighing on me, she says. Running and sport in general has been a constant light in my life and I hope it continues to be. In 2016 she took part in a 33 mile cross country ski race and in 2015 she nearly won a 47 mile swim and run in Sweden. She also took part in a marathon around the Great Wall of China just a year after running her first marathon in Kenya in 2015. I decided that the marathon was the box of life that needed to be ticked and this year it was my time, despite it being one of the toughest marathons in the world. So there you have it dear friends. Share this video and leave your comments. Bye.